bittersweet to come back to this area. You know, it was my home. It's where I worked. Where I ate and met my friends. These trees that are cut up here, this all has done done in the last probably year. Okay. And they do that just to keep the path clear. I remember I think in the video you ran past your pack. You can see your pack on the ground, I believe. Well, that's where it was. Because I was coming from It's more like six or seven of them. See, all these trees are newly down. I mean, they weren't down when I was here with Susie. Okay. Um, you know, we've had some storms, but it was right. It's, hard, it's really hard to, to see it. Mm -hmm. Right up in there, beyond, there's kind of a there's kind of a tree that's down, a little broken tree. Yes, there's it. a little tree. It's just in that area, right in there, kind of in between these two trees. Okay. Because that's kind of where I came down. 
this is a culvert, just a wash where the water comes in the winter. Uh -huh. And I ran down here, and this is where I stood, and I said, I hear a sound. I hear something, and I thought, it's a hiker. It's another person. And so I kind of ran through here, directly through these trees, and over that. And that's when I kind of walked down that way, and then up over into the obelisk. Yeah, because you can't even... I can't see, see it. Right, right, right. It's right beyond that little those little trees. Right. I could see kind of something through it, you know, that felt like maybe a mirage or something. But like I said, that didn't make any sense because, you know, there's not enough heat to make a mirage here. There's not enough light and shadow. I mean, this is exactly the amount of light there was. This is exactly the kind of day. And the underbrush was the same. Same amount of underbrush, same amount of... This is the 300 foot, 3 to 500 foot area where it all happened. This is the place. It's a real place. It's not a park, you know, it's not a stage. And on that day, you could hear none of the sounds of the wind or the trees or the birds or anything. You couldn't hear anything when that happened, when it all took place. It was really tragic, the time that I spent here. It was really traumatic. And even this many years later, it still feels sad to me.